dealing with the coronavirus pandemic has been a big challenge for all of us, but especially for seniors under stricter guidelines at nursing homes. And while you cannot go visit your loved ones there, there are still ways to stay connected with them. And this morning, I'm pleased to be joined by Jeff Welsh, live with us via the internet, uh, the owner of Right at Home. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Jeff. Well, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm really excited to talk to you about this. You know, first of all, how can people stay engaged with their elderly loved ones when they're kind of quarantined in these facilities? Well, you know, obviously the telephone, the smartphones are, are critical devices right now for us. So uh, actually being seen by the senior is, I think, very important. Uh, they, they need to be connected to. And um, so some ideas are... Uh, making care packages with notes and words of encouragement, you know, include some vitamin C, maybe some cleaning products and things that they need, maybe some comfort foods to show them you care. Uh, another really neat idea is to gather some people together and just do window walks. So walking through the neighborhood with groups of people holding signs and, and waving and, and uh, you know, connecting that way, letting them see you uh, in person. It's a hard thing to do right now, but, uh, and you know, what we're doing right now, Zoom or Skype or, uh, you know, FaceTime, those are good ways to connect. It's difficult because seniors often don't know how to use their devices like they should. So you, you have to put them through some, some, uh, education on how to use their smartphone and they'll have to overcome the resistance in order to get that done. But, I think that's a really important thing for them right now is, is actually seeing uh, seeing you and your your kids right you family that, that, uh, that they're distanced from absolutely i think seeing a face is is such a wonderful thing and with technology now we're able to do that as you were mentioning uh, let's talk a little bit about in-home caregivers obviously we talk a lot about doctors and nurses and those on the front lines they deserve recognition so much recognition but also the in-home care caregivers what can we do for them well i mean in-home caregivers deserve a lot of recognition for the work that they do uh, you know in-home caregivers spend a tremendous amount of time with the senior whereas uh you know when they go to the hospital they go to the doctor they get some minutes but but it's the caregivers who, who come in and spend all that time with them and do a lot of the difficult work. Uh, we really need to recognize those people. So, uh, you know, they are, they are unsung heroes and, um, you know, signs and even at the home, you know, if you're, if you're a mother or father being cared for by a, by a caregiver, put a sign on the door, That's thanking great. them for what they do. Um, those Make are wonderful suggestions. Jeff, thank you so very much. We're out of time, but we really appreciate you being with us this morning. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.